Good evening, everybody. My name is Blue Fang, and welcome back to episode 15 of the Hunger Games Simulator. We have another suggestion from Sir Sario on YouTube, who says we do all the Pokemon Team Rocket has had. Now, I know, now, immediately before you go ranting in the comment, comments, because you can see it up here in episode 4, oh, Blue Fang, we already did a Pokemon episode. No. We did Pokemon Starters, so we only covered those. This is all the po this is Team Rocket's Pokemon. Which means yes, we can repeat franchises if they're not general. Like I will do with Star Wars villains and Avatar villains. So if you really want specific characters, specify heroes, villains, joke characters if there's enough. But if we do a general franchise like Family Guy, that's probably it. Anyways, that aside, let's go over the cast of Pokemon. We have Meowth and Wobbuffet, their signature two. Weezing and Arbok, their first two. Mimikyu and Marini, the ones that they've had most recently. Chimeco and Surviper from Hoenn. Carnivine and Yamega from Sinnoh. Inkay and Gorgas from Kalos. Yon Mask and Frillos from Unova. Growlithe, which is James' childhood Pokemon. Amoongus, which is another one James had in Unova. Yes, it's a meme. I've heard, I've gotten an Among Us suggestion before. I hate that franchise. I hate that Let's Play. Watch it if you want. I hate it. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to speak its name. But I figure since I'll be nice to the people and do the meme image. Cacnea and Dustox from Hoenn. Victory Bell and Gyarados from Johto. Lickitung and Sheldo also from Johto. Morpeko, a cute one that I hope they keep. And Choodle, who's from, uh, from Gen 9. From Gen 8. And I thought that it was super funny funny that's image of Don Choodle and off a of dare I decided to take it but yeah Don Choodle anyways with this all said in mind here's our cast cast for episode 15 and who will qualify for the season one finale of the Hunger Games simulator let's proceed as a tribute stand on their podium, the horn sounds. Gorgeist runs away from the cornucopia. Inkay snatches a pair of scythes. Trudel grabs a backpack and retreats. Marini grabs a jar of fishing bait while Victory Bell grabs some fishing gear. Lickitung runs away from the cornucopia. Arbok runs away from the cornucopia. Chimeco runs away from the cornucopia. Growlithe snatches a bag of uh, snatches a bottle of alcohol in a rag. Frillish runs away from the cornucopia. Car Carnivide runs away. Dustox runs away. Gyarados runs away. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, before I do anything, Mimic, before I do anything, Marini and, uh, Morpeko, I guess. Yeah. Those are my two. I'm not really super passionate about this episode, but those are my two for this episode. Surviper gather. Surviper gathers as much food as she can. Mimikyu and Amoongus fight for a bag. Amoongus strangles Mimikyu with the with the straps and runs. No, the memes. Yon Mega grabs a jar of fishing bait while Weezing bits fishing gear. Morpeko runs away. Yamath Yamask runs away. Shelter runs away. Wobbuffet stays inside the cornucopia for resources. Cacnea runs away from the cornucopia. Meowth runs into the cornucopia and hides. Let's proceed. Day one. Frillish injures herself. Wobbuffet runs away from Weezing. Cacnea runs away from Gyarados. Chimeco diverts Inkay's attention and runs away. You know what? No, scratch this. Marini and Inkay. Those are the two I'm rooting for. I'm on Team James. James is the best character in the anime. Change my mind. Yamas tends to Growlithe's wounds. Yanmega sprains her ankle while running away from Marini. You fly! Why? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Meowth and Victory Bell work together for the day. Amoongus sprains her ankle while running away from Surviper. Morpeko, Gorgeist, Shelter, and Lickitung raid Carnify's camp while he is hunting. Choodle tends to Dunstock's wounds. Arbok travels to higher ground. Alright. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Mimikyu from District 3. I know you're rooting for Mimikyu and Marini, Sorsario. Gen 7's your absolute favorite. But we have 23 people left. Here we go. Marini and Inkay. More pickle fends you. Mask Marini and wheezing away from his fire. Amoongus passes out from exhaustion. Gyarados, Carnivine, Yarn, Mega, and Arbot sleep in shifts. Gorgeist screams for help. 
survivor grabs a receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Dust talks and Shelda run into each other and decide a truce for the night. Growlithe, Wabafet, Cacnea, Lickitung, and Chimeco sleep in shifts. NK receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Phyllis receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Meowth cries himself to sleep. Victory Bow receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Day two, Lickitung and a moon and a Moongus split up for resources. Morpeko explores the air arena. Yon Mega dies of hypothermia. Chimeko attacks Gorgeist, but she manages to escape. Frilla searches for firewood. Surviper runs away from NK. Yamas gets Carnivine off. Cacnea tries to spear fish of the trident. Victory Bell bashes Gyarados' head against a rock several times. Yeesh. Growl of practices his archery. Weezing sprays his ankle running away from Choodle. <laughs> You fly again! You don't even have feet! <laughs> More Pico explores the arena. Shelter receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Wobbuffet bashes Duck Duck's head against a rock several times. Arbok runs away from Meowth. Proceed. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Eon Mega from District 5, Gyarados from District 10, and Dust Dogs from District 9. So if we see everyone's status, and if I can do basic math, we have 20 Pokemon left in the stand. 20 people left. No districts are out of play yet. Let's go back to Fallen Tributes and proceed. Carnivine falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Frillish and Gorgai still towards about themselves to each other. Surviper sni silently snaps on Moongus' neck. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I, I don't like the Amoongus meme. I would love for Choodle to win. I mean, I'm still NK and Marini, but I don't care if Choodle wins. Weezing tries to sing himself to sleep. Growlithe receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. NK tends to Wobbuffet's wounds. Marini, Morpeko, Mor Chimeco, and Victory Bell tell ghost stories to lighten the, ghost stories to lighten the mood. Meowth, Yamask, Shelter, and Arbok sleep in shifts. Lickitung thinks about going home. Cacnea attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Probably for the best. You're a grass type, buddy. You'd burn down. Day 3, Inkay chases Arbok, so Viper hunts for other tributes, Lickitung, Meowth, Morpeko, and Weezing hunt for other tributes. Gorgai Starks, Marini, Wobbuffet is pricked by thorns while picking berries, Chemeko tries to spear fish with the trident, Cacnea is unable to convince Growlithe not to kill him. Like I said, you die to a fire type, buddy. Frillish collects fruit from a tree, Victory Bell receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor, Shelter defeats Yamask in a fight but spares his life, and Chudo collects fruit from a tree. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Carnivide from District 5, Amoongus from District 8, and Cacnea from District 9. We see everyone's status. 20 minus 3, that's 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I was right. With Districts 5 and 9 out of play. Huh. Oh, well. Collect volunteer tributes and proceed. Night 3, Gorgeist and Marine talk about the tributes to the live. Weezing cooks his food before putting his fire out. Wobbuffet and Lickitung sleep in shifts. Arbok receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Meowth tends to his wounds. Frillish thinks about home. NK attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. Choodle screams for help. Chimeco cooks his food before putting his fire out. How? Eh. Growlithe, Victory Bell, and Yamask get into a fight. Victory Bell triumphantly kills them both. Okay, Victory Bell is just on a murdering spree. Surviper sets up camp for the night. Sheldrick sets up camp for the night. Morpeko dies of dysentery. Day 4, Surviper and Inkay split up for resources. Lickitung, Chimeko, Weezing, and Chudo raid Wapafet's camp while she's hunting. Arbuck constructs a shack. Frillish goes hunting. Marini attacks Victory Bell, but she man but he manages to escape. Shelder makes a wooden spear. Meowth shoots fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Gorgeist discovers a river. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Growlithe from District 8, Yamas from District 7, and Morpeko from District 12. So if we see everyone's status, 3 minus 17 is 14, if I can do basic math. But just to be safe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep. 14 people are left with districts 5, 8, and 9 out of play. Here we go. Night 4. Serpent destroys Chudo, Slazzle is asleep. 
Arbok and Frilla sleep in shifts. Walfet accidentally steps on the landmine. Shadow tries to sing herself to sleep. Wheezing questions his sanity. Ligatung strangles Gorgeist after engaging in a fist fight. Marini destroys NK supplies like he's asleep. Marini, I like you. I want you to win. But I also want NK to win. So maybe don't do that, please and thank you. Like, maybe don't. Do that to someone else, not NK. Not NK, though. Wait till the finale. Wait till it's just you two. Chimeko chimes with Klee to rest. Climbs a tree to rest. They develop Meowth tell ghost stories about themselves to each other. Let's proceed. Day 5. Chudo begs for Meowth to kill him. He refuses keeping Chudo alive. Swiper, Swiper overhears NK and Arbok talking in the distance. Chimeko catches, catches Frillish off guard and kills her. Lickitung and Shelter work together for the day. Weezing searches for a water source. Victor Bow defeats Marini in a fight but spares her life. Fallen Tribute 5. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Wabafet from District 1, Gorgeist from District 6, and Frillish from District 7. So if we see everyone's status, uh, 11 people left, if I can do basic math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. With Districts 5, 7, 8, 9... Out of play. So this entire third row is out of play. 11 people left. Almost at the top 10. Here we go. Major Bell passes out from exhaustion. NK attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Arbok and Meowth set, tell stories about themselves to each other. Chimeko sets an explosive off, killing Survivor. All right, we're in the top 10. I don't even know how Chimeko got an explosive, but he did. Marini and Chudo huddle for warmth. Weezing stays awake all night. Lick a tongue and shelter huddle for warmth. Let's proceed. Day 6. Lickitung makes a slingshot. Weezing attacks Chudo, but she manages to escape. Arbok, Chimeko, and Shelter gets into a fight. Chimeko triumphantly kills them both. God damn, Chimeko! How do you... You're murder happy! Like, how do you do this? Meowth picks flowers. Marina overhears Victor Bell and Inkay talking in the distance. Let's proceed. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Survivor from District 4. Arbok from District 2. Shelter from District 11. If we see everyone's status, ladies and gents, we are down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 people left. Left with Districts 5, 7, 8, and 9 out of play. Place your bets now. Chai Mecco has 4 kills and is the current lead in kills. Although Victory Bell is not that far behind. Keep in mind. Major Bell severely slices Chimeko with the sword. Welp, alright, there you go. Like a tongue tends to his wounds, Chudo quietly hums. Marini throws a knife into Weezing's head. In case stabs Meow through the tree branch. The cornucopia is replenished with food supplies and weapons from tri food supplies, weapons, and memoirs from Tribute's families. In case decides not to go to the feast. Victory Bell stuffs a bundle of dry clothing into a backpack before sprinting away. Marini decides not to go to a feast. Chudo's trap kills Lick a tongue. Day 7, Chudal, NK, Marini hunt for other tributes. Victor Chel Victory Bell tries to sleep through the entire day. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Chimeko from District 4, Weezing from District 2, Meowth from District 1, and Lickitung from District 11. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4 people left. Districts 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 11 out of play. Don't say anything but content. Don't say anything. But content, uh, you know what, I'm going to say something right now. This is the farthest I have ever gotten with both of my guesses. I have a 50-50 chance of finally getting a full point on the board. Adam West counts as a half win. But this is like a full win. I have a half chance of getting a full win. Let's hope I didn't fuck it up by saying anything. Night 7, Rainy tends to NK wounds. Victory, Victory Bell and Choodle hold hands. NK forces Marina to, to kill Victory Bell and Choodle. She decides to kill Victory Bell. Two thirds chance. I don't care who wins because it's a funny meme picture. Acid pours down the arena. Choodle survives. Marini trips face first into a puddle of acidic rain. NK is unable to start a sh find a shelter and die. Oh, damn it! I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Victor Bell from District 10, Marini from District 3, and NK from District 6. You know what? I had a 50-50 chance of winning. I'll take this. I'll take this. 
And besides, I did say I didn't care if Tootle was w- did, didn't win. He would have been my pick if those two had lost. So I'll consider this a half win, meaning I have a full win on the board. The winner is Tootle from District 12. So let's just uh, real quick. Don. No. That's called Don Tootle if you don't know the meme, by the way. Tootle. Team. Rocket. Pokemon. And we're talking about the anime, so nothing that they have in the game, just Jesse and James. Ignore. Anyways, DP16. My goodness gracious, folks. My goodness gracious, folks. We have nine episodes left until the season one finale. Let's go. But anyways, to conclude, to cover this off, in 24th place, Mimikyu. In 23rd place, Yon Mega. In 22nd place, Gyarados. In 21st place, Dustox. In 20th place, Carnivine. In 19th place, with one kill, Amoongus. In 18th place, Cacnea. In 17th place, with one kill, Growlithe. In 16th place, Yamask. In 15th place, Morpeko. In 14th place, with one kill, Wobbuffet. In 13th place, Gorgeist. In 12th place, Frillish. In 11th place, with one kill, Seviper. In 10th place, Arbok. In 9th place, Shelter. In 8th place, with four kills, Chimeco. In 7th place, Weezing. In 6th place, Meowth. In 5th place, with one kill, Lickitung. In 4th place, with four kills, Victory Bell. In 3rd place, with two kills, Marini. In 2nd place, with one kill, Inkay. And the first place with one kill, Shootle. Let's proceed. There's the summary. It was an eight day, surprisingly eight days. In the district placements, in 12th place, District 5. In 11th place, District 9. In 10th place, District 8. In 9th place, District 7. In 8th place, District 4. In 7th place, District 2. In 6th place, District 1. In 5th place, District 11. In 4th place, District 10. In 3rd place, District 3. In 2nd place, District 6. In 1st place, District 12. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I bid you all a good West... I hope you all enjoyed yourself, and I bid you all a good West of the Sun. So until next time, I bid you a Riva